Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be making... What are we going to make? Today we're going to be making a viewer's request. A super salmon sandwich. I received an email from Wilco Jan and he requested to do this recipe. So let's get started. For this recipe we are going to need 75 milliliters of soy sauce. Wilco Jan specifically told me to use fresh orange juice. We also need to add a little bit of ginger. So this is the equivalent of one garlic clove. So we're also going to add one garlic clove. One red fine chopped onion. Well, the marinade smells good. Let's mix it with the salmon. Well, we have this beautiful side of salmon. We're going to put it in a Ziploc bag. And to that, we're going to add our marinade. Now we're closing up the Ziploc bag to almost all the way. And then we're going to push out all of the air. And then close it up and we'll put it in the fridge for at least two hours. Our salmon has been in the fridge for two hours. Now we're going to fire up our barbecue. We'll take out the grill grates, clean out some of the ash, and fill up your barbecue again with new Kamado Joe Big Block. Light it up. To make sure that we get a nice bit of smoke, I got some cherry wood chips soaked in water. I'm going to add that to our barbecue. Spread it out a little bit, so you get smoke for a longer period of time. Put in your deflector plate and your grill grate back in position and let the barbecue slowly come up the temperature. We are taking the salmon out of the marinade. You can see how it changed color. We're going to scrape off all the ingredients, set this to the side and then we're going to put it on a drying rack. And this is actually perfect for smoking because we get the opportunity to get the smoke on top and the bottom and make sure that our fragile salmon stays intact. Take a bit of paper towel and dry the top of the salmon. It's kind of weird, but the salmon already smells good. Let's put it on the grill and let it smoke. To go with our salmon, we're going to make a dill and capers mayonnaise. Of course, the base is mayonnaise. And this is around a cup. We'll add two tablespoons of sour cream to that and the juice of half a lemon. Some fine chopped dill, some fine chopped capers, fresh ground black pepper. I do like my black pepper, so I want a lot of it. A pinch of salt. Now mix that up. And now a quick taste test. Oh yeah, wow, that will definitely go really well with our salmon. Our salmon is almost ready, so we're going to take a piece of bread, we're going to cut that up, and we're going to stop it with our salmon. Let's take a look at our salmon. Wow, look at the smoke color it picked up. We got a little bit of egg white and juices running out of the salmon, so we're going to pat it dry, and then we're going to transfer it to our plate. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. We smoke the salmon until it reached the core temperature of 60 degrees. Normally a core temperature of 45 would be sufficient, but we wanted the salmon to be flaky. So let's check it out. Look at that, that's definitely flaky. Gorgeous. Now, while we're at it, we'll do a quick taste test. Mm. <laughs> that tastes really good. We'll take the salmon off the cooling rack and put it onto a plate. And now it's time to get our hands dirty and flake up the salmon. Look at that. Look at how juicy that is. It breaks up. It's not overcooked. It's not dry. Everything's shiny. The salmon looks absolutely gorgeous. And that's exactly what you want. You want salmon to smoke at a low temperature so it stays juicy and becomes really nice, flaky, flavorful. So we'll take one of our sandwiches, put a little bit of lettuce on for color contrast. Then we'll put on some salmon. 
Wow, look at that. Some of our beautiful sauce. There we go. A little bit more. Now that is a beauty, right? Well, Wilco Jan, I hope I did your recipe justice. There's only one thing left to do, and that's bite into it. The salmon is super juicy, but it also has an amazing flavor. And together with that sauce, it is a dream come true. Thank you, Wilco Jan, for providing us with this recipe. If you have a recipe to share with us, post it in the community tab on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and if you want to support us, hit that sponsor button. See you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk.